guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is Gabby I would definitely appreciate it if you subscribe so in today's video I am going to show you guys how I achieved these eyebrows I always get so many questions about how I do my brows and so many people have asked me to do a tutorial so if you guys want to see how I achieved these eyebrows then just keep on watching okay, so to start I'm going to just brush my eyebrow hairs upwards if I'm looking like this way it's because my mirror is right here but you're just gonna brush your eyebrow hairs kind of up to the side just brush them in like the natural direction that they will go in so I zoomed you guys in a little bit more because now I'm actually going to start filling in my brow so I'm using the Milani easy brow automatic pencil I'm gonna roll it up a little bit take the tip very lightly you don't want to go heavy in the front so I'm gonna go really light and start carving out my eyebrows and you're literally just going to follow the natural shape doing this I'm kind of just I'm going lightly throughout the whole entire brow but definitely in the front, you don't want to be heavy handed because it's what's going to make it look really weird and like unnatural. You don't want that. So then I'm going to do the same thing to the top. I'm just going to trace the natural shape of my eyebrows. And this part, it's okay if you make mistakes because you have concealer and that's what we're going to use to clean up anything that you mess up. So don't worry about this part too much. Okay, so now that I have the top outlined as well, I'm going to go ahead and start filling my brow in. So I don't start in the front. We're going to leave the front for last because that's really important how you feel in the front of your brow. It will literally make or break your eyebrow, okay? So start at the end and you want to just start kind of coloring it in. You don't have to be super heavy handed. I actually like to make little like light strokes because I like my brow to look a little bit more natural. So just kind of like create some more hairs is what it'll seem like when you're making strokes and just fill it in until you don't see any sparseness. So for the front of my eyebrows to fill it in, I kind of like turn my hand the opposite way. So it's going to feel like kind of uncomfortable. Like I turn it like this. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see. So I take my hand, turn it like that. And that is how I make the strokes and this just kind of rather than doing it this way this helps ensure that you'll keep a light hand instead of a heavy hand in the front Got my hand ready and you're gonna go super lightly just go straight up literally the lightest hand ever just go straight up I create my little hairs in the front because I added a little extra you don't have to do this, like you don't have to add the extra in the front like I did. But super light. Okay, do we see that? That is looking like a brow, honey. Okay, so now on to the most important part when it comes to doing your eyebrows and that is the concealer. So I'm going to be using the concealer from Juvia's Place. I absolutely love this concealer and I'm in the shade 11. This concealer comes like this with a little um, brush to easily like apply it to your face. But I'm going to use this brush and dab my concealer brush into it. So super quickly about the brush that you use, you want to make sure it's super thin, really precise. And by precise, I mean that it doesn't like... It's not super fluffy like a brush you would use for eyeshadow or to wipe powder. You want it to be really, really strong and sturdy and you want it to be really thin for 
the precision. I'm gonna link a brush down below for you guys to use. I got this brush from a set in Vanity Planet. I'm not sure if they still sell it or not, but I will make sure to leave a brush down below so you guys can make sure you're using the right brush. I only use like the tip of the brush. I don't dip the whole entire brush in the concealer because you're just gonna waste it or possibly create a reason for you to mess up and get the concealer somewhere where it doesn't need to be. So I just dip it right on the end, whatever concealer you're using. If you have to squeeze some out of a tube, just squeeze some out and then dip your brush. So just dip the tip, dip the tip, honey. That's it, that's all you need. <laughs> So I start in the front and I also pull the concealer out a little bit further just to really create that like cut. And you're just going to go under your brow. I used to hold my eyebrow up until I realized that can give me wrinkles. <laughs> so I used to pull it up like this. I don't do that anymore because I don't want wrinkles. So I kind of just raise it like my natural brow lift and... You want to make sure you raise it because you want to be sure that you're really cutting that arch. Because that's like, that's what really makes your brow look snatched, you know? And I also forgot to mention, you guys, make sure that you do use a concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. Um, doesn't have to be extremely light. I literally say a shade lighter. No a higher than that. Okay, so then to start blending this out i'm going to use the same brush that i used to apply it but i'm going to wipe it off and then i take the brush and i hold it and i pull it downward so for underneath your brow to blend out the concealer you want to pull it down don't push it up <laughs> pull it down that's just gonna make it a lot easier for you to not mess up and i kind of just start taking it to the side towards the end but i never ever ever rub upwards when you pull downward you'll actually be shocked at how close you can get to your brow without messing up when you have a precise brush brush is really the key brush and concealer is the key to success okay so i'm just gonna keep pulling downward until i've gotten as close as possible and you see that kind of like harsh line is disappearing that's what you want to get rid of and that's what you want to blend out. So after that, I take my brush from Real Techniques. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start buffing out the concealer. And I'm going to get around the ends over here because that's where most of my excess concealer ends up. And I'm just going to blend it all out. Blend, 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 blend. So after I blend out with my brush from Real Techniques, I'm also going to go in one last time with a beauty blender. This one is also from Real Techniques and I will link it down below. And I'm just going to literally start wiping the concealer. Do not get close to your brow, just kind of wipe the excess that's still hanging around a little bit and you want to make sure you blend it out really really well the key to anything makeup related is to blend like that's literally what will make or break your eyebrow looking crazy or your eyebrow looking good and right now it's looking kind of good <laughs> after you've got this brow done you're just going to repeat the same exact steps to the other brow and i'm going to speed through this if you guys need to watch the step by step you can of course rewind, but I'm just going to kind of speed through me doing the other brow. Just a quick tip that I forgot to mention, your eyebrows are cousins, okay? They are not twins, they are not even siblings, okay? <laughs> like they may not look exactly the same, but as long as they both look like they belong on your face, you're good. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the top of your eyebrow, you're also going to carve out that. We're going to go ahead and carve out the top, but you can either use the same concealer that you used on the bottom or you can use a foundation. 
So if you use the concealer that I used on the bottom, obviously it's going to be really bright. I normally only do this if I know that I'm going to be wearing makeup afterwards. But if I'm only trying to do my eyebrows and I'm not really interested in doing a full face of makeup, I'm going to go in with the foundation shade. Today I'm going to use a foundation. I do plan on putting on makeup after this, but just for the sake of this video, because I am doing this catered towards beginners, I'm just going to go ahead and use a foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and I'm just going to dip the brush into like kind of like the top, or you can even dip it into the top of the foundation because there's always some in there. You don't need a lot at all. Remember, only on the tip, okay? <laughs> dip the tip. Remember that. Dip the tip. This, and for the top, I'm going to be holding it upwards. Now just go ahead and carve out the top. And you're just going along, following the natural line that's pretty much already going to be there. Unless you made a mistake, then you can go over that and fix it. See how you can barely see that? Like you can barely see and I haven't even blended it out yet. To blend out the top, I'm going to do the same thing like I did on the bottom. When I told you guys to pull downward for the top, you're going to pull upwards. And this is just going to help you again blend out without making any mistakes and running it into your eyebrow. So then I'm going to just to make sure there's no harsh line. If you guys can kind of see right here, you can see like a lot of like demarcation in the front of my brow. To get rid of that, you're going to just take your spoolie. There's a spoolie on the other side of the pencil that I used to fill my eyebrows in. But if you guys don't have one, you can pick up spoolies for like a dollar at the beauty supply. If you purchase this pencil, it already comes with a spoolie on the other end, which is great. I love that. Now you're just going to take that spoolie and you're not going to brush all the way from the bottom but kind of from the middle of your brow and just brush upward until you kind of remove that line of concealer. So you guys see that? It's not really there anymore. Okay, so now we're almost finished. The last step that we do to our eyebrows is add brow gel. So I'm using the NYX Control Freak brow gel. This stuff is like $7. Everything that I use in the video today is literally $10 or less. So it's not expensive at all and it works really well. So what this does is it's going to help keep your brows in place all day. Also if you have really wild crazy curly hairs on your brow like I do, this will kind of just tame them and lay them flat and make sure everything is going in the same direction to look really, really, really flawless. It comes like a spoolie and you're literally just going to brush your hairs in the direction that they should go. I add a little bit of extra on the end because that's where my curly brows are and they go a little crazy, okay? Go crazy. And okay, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do the same thing to the other brows, speed through it really quick, and then I'll come back. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up and remember to practice this every single day every chance that you have and it'll just help you learn how to do your brows quicker I learned how to do my brows in about two weeks and obviously after that I kept improving but it did take me a good consecutive two weeks of staying at it to really get the hang of it but I promise it's not hard all you have to do is just get used to it and follow my video I hope that it was really helpful and I will see you guys in my next video bye